I just got an update from APD, and unfortunately, it is not good news. We know three people shot, one person is dead, two others taken to the hospital. The one in the hospital in surgery right now, so current condition not known, and then the third person injuries not expected to be life threatening. Now, what we don't know at this time is how many shooters there were and just how much gunfire was exchanged. In fact, APD tells me they found at least 15 rounds had been fired at this time, and the scene itself is massive. It expands about a quarter mile, starting at the La Quinta Inn to the Fuddruckers, down to Waffle House. In fact, APD tells me that one of the victims was found in that Fuddruckers parking lot. Now, they say they are canvassing the area. They're trying to find witnesses, anybody that saw or heard anything, as well as to find out if anyone fled the scene. Now, we know there was also some sort of crash that either led up to it or had to do with the shooting. That's something else that APD is working to find out. But we've got a crash vehicle three people shot, one person dead, two in the hospital, and Gibson Boulevard at Yale closed down at this time. Southbound Yale, expect that to be closed for several hours now is what APD tells me, so avoid the area. In fact, I was just speaking to someone who's out here who's staying at the La Quinta Inn who says they can't get back into the hotel right now. So a very busy situation and a long night for APD. We'll continue to keep you updated as we learn more about these deadly shootings. But for now, live in Albuquerque, Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News.